the company one who acquires the other company will become the acquirer company the other company will become the target company here in the question first we need to understand what we need to understand about the company who which is the acquirer company and which is the target company the annual profit after tax profit after tax is given 50 lakh is the profit after tax and the market value of shares is 50 rupees everybody i am divya assistant professor from department of commerce and management lecturing vidyashram first grade college mysuru the temple of excellence it's my honor and privilege to welcome you all for the session 2 on your chapter 4 that is your merger and acquisition the topic for today's discussion concepts and problem so my dear students in the last class we have discussed about the theoretical concepts of merger and acquisition types of merger and acquisition and the financial evaluation of merger and acquisition in today's class let us look into some practical problems moving forward we need to understand one thing in our merger and acquisition that is calculation of price to exchange ratio and calculation of exchange ratio so first we need to understand how we need to calculate the price to earning ratio and we need to calculate the exchange ratio in today's class we look after the problems on our price to earning ratio so price to earning ratio what is the formula market value per share divided by eps so to calculate that eps we have another formula profit after tax divided by total number of shares so the exchange ratio formula is target share price divided by acquirer share price my dear students you all need to understand this the company one who acquires the other company will become the acquirer company the other company will become the target company suppose a and b company is there b company is been sold it's been acquired by a company so a company will become what acquirer and b company will become what target company so you need to understand this concepts first and and in this today's class we'll be discussing the problems on price to earning ratio so you all have to understand the formula of price to earning ratio that is once again i'll repeat market value per share divided by eps so for better clarity let us take up the problems and understand moving forward problem number 1 x company limited is having 20000 equity shares of rupees 50 each what is the market price per share 50 rupees is the market price per share so and its annual profit after tax profit after tax is how many rupees 10 lakh is the profit after tax calculate the price to earning ratio of the company so what is given in the question in the question market price is given and the total number of equity shares are given in the question but what we need to calculate price to earning ratio what is the formula for price to earning ratio market value per share but eps is not given in the question earning per share is not given in the question so we need to calculate the earning per share and then substitute to the formula and check out the answer moving forward market price is given 50 rupees but eps is not given to calculate eps what is the formula profit after tax divided by number of share profit after tax is given in the question 10 lakh is the profit after tax and the total number of share is how many 20000 equity shares so if you substitute 50 per share so eps is known to us now market value of per share is known to us market value per share is known to us let's substitute the values to the formula and check out the answer it is 1 times so we are expressing it in times price to earning ratio is expressed in times moving forward problem number 2 pepsi company is acquiring coca cola company pepsi will pay rupees 10 to the shareholders of coca cola company existing number of shares is with the pepsi company 1000 share what is the pepsi company share number of share 1000 share and coca cola is how many 
500 shares the net profit after tax profit after tax of pepsi company is how much 2 lakh and the market value of share is 10 rupees each market price per share is 10 rupees each calculate the post merger number of shares and the pe ratio of pepsi company here in the question first we need to understand what we need to understand about the company who which is acquirer company and which is the target company acquirer company pepsi company is acquiring so pepsi is a acquirer company and coca cola is what her target company Pepsi company is acquiring Coca-Cola company. So now we need to calculate what after the merger and acquisition happen after the acquiring of Pepsi company and the Coca-Cola company. So once the acquiring happens, what is the number of shares? Total number of shares we need to calculate that post merger. number of shares we need to calculate and then we need to calculate price to earning ratio of pepsi company so let us look at that calculation of post merger number of shares pepsi company how many shares we have 1000 shares coca cola 500 share 500 of rupees how many market price per share or the value of that particular share is 10 rupees per share so pepsi company 1000 is the number of shares and the coca cola company is 500 share into 10 rupees it is 5000 so total number of shares 1000 plus 5000 6000 is the total number of shares that have after the merger has happened now let us calculate the eps why eps has to be calculated because in the question we need to calculate pe ratio to calculate pe ratio what is required in order to calculate that market value per share is known to us what is market value 10 rupees is the market price per share but we doesn't know eps in order to calculate the eps what is the formula profit after tax divided by total number of shares what is profit after tax 2 lakh and what is the number of share we are only calculating pepsi companies what we are calculating pepsi companies pe ratio so we need to consider only pepsi companies number of shares what is the pepsi companies number of shares that we have is 1000 shares so 1000 profit after tax divided by 1000 it is 200 so price to earning ratio we are substituting the values as per the formula the answer we got is 0.05 times so for the better clarity on the problem so i'll take a one more problem and understand in a better way moving forward problem 3 mysore limited is going to acquire bangalore limited so mysore company is what mysore company mysore limited is a acquirer company bangalore is a target company so the shareholders of bangalore limited issues 0.8 per share of mysore limited so while merger is happening they are issued at how many 0.8 per share so the number of shares in a mysore limited is how many 2 lakh 50000 but bangalore limited has how many share the bangalore limited has 1 lakh 75000 shares the annual profit after tax profit after tax is given 50 lakh is the profit after tax and the market value of shares is 50 rupees calculate the post merger of shares and the price to earning ratio Now let us calculate the calculation of post merger number of shares. So Mysore Limited we have how many two lakh fifty thousand and the Bangalore Limited we have one lakh seventy five thousand. It is issued at zero point eight. One lakh forty thousand will be the number of shares. Bangalore Limited total number of share will be how much? Two lakh plus one lakh forty. It is three lakh ninety thousand. now we need to calculate the price to earnings ratio what's the formula market value of shares or the market price of the particular share divided by eps earnings per share so eps is not given in the question we need to calculate how we have calculated in the previous problem uh, profit after tax divided by number of equity share what is profit after tax profit after tax is 50 lakh and what is the number of shares that we have is 2 lakh 
fifty thousand. When we divide it, we get twenty. When you substitute the value, the answer you get is two point five times. So this is how we calculate price to earnings ratio. Moving forward. So that's it for today's class. In next class, we'll be taking up the problems on exchange ratio. On that, we'll be calculating valuation based on net assets method, valuation based on EPS, and the calculation of your market price. So stay tuned until that. Smile is the biggest jewel you can wear. Keep smiling, people. Thank you.